15 secondary level schools within Morabe province will be taking part in the inter-school exhibition that is scheduled for the 4th and 5th of May this week. It will be hosted at the Sir Ignatius Kilage Stadium. Exhibitions will fall under six categories, including science and technology, tourism and hospitality, entertainment and public speaking. Morabe's Provincial Program Advisor for Education, Keith Tangui, applauded the principal of Busu Secondary School, George Noble, for taking charge of preparations as the chairman of the Inter-School Exhibition Committee. Students will show their talents, their skills, their knowledge, their attitudes, how they perform their do things in the school. I'd like to thank Mr. Noble, George Noble, and Mr. Provincial Administrator, and Mr. Robert Masinu, uh, Deputy Administrator of Social Services, for making it happen. Uh, last year, due to COVID-19, we packed at 100,000. And this year is 100,000, now it's 200,000. That's a lot of money. So we bring all the schools, secondary schools, the high schools from uh, Morobe to participate in showcasing the, what they do in the schools. The participating schools include lay-based schools as well as Bayun Lutheran High School in Bulolo District, Boana Lutheran High School in Nawaib District, and the Menyamia Secondary School. Chairman of the Exhibition Committee, Noble, said rural schools will get more money to assist them with preparations, especially in terms of logistics and board and lodging. Uh, most of only 6,000 each for the rural schools, depending upon how many items they are present. If they are bringing all the six areas, like a tourism and hospitality, arts and culture, their transport costs, their whatever they want to, that everything, we will give a 6,000 kina each for the rural schools. Judges have been sourced from the National Polytechnic Institute of Papua New Guinea, the PNG University of Technology and the University of Goroka. Noble said this is to ensure fairness and transparency. The public has been encouraged to attend this two-day expo, which starts this Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. and ends on Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Salome Vincent, TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.